What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna take a look at some different games here for a change on the channel. I typically test the AAA titles and try to give you guys an idea of what the performance is so that you can decide if it's worth buying and playing on your Steam Deck or maybe another device that I happen to be testing. And typically that's what I go for. But I do play a lot of smaller titles myself and indie and AA type games and they run great on the deck. It, Really, I'd argue that the Steam Deck's even more built and purpose-built to run those types of games more than it necessarily is some of the AAA titles, even though it does handle a lot of those quite well. But we usually do focus on those big games here on the channel, so I did want to take some time in this video to highlight some of these smaller titles that I enjoy on the deck and that are fairly affordable, run pretty well, and have good reviews over on Steam. So let's go ahead and get into it, starting with Bright Memory Infinite. Now, if I remember correctly, the original game of this, which was one level, was created by one person, by one guy, and I think Bright Memory Infinite was as well, but I could be off on that it was definitely really impressive at the time and this game still looks fantastic today now bright memory infinite came out on steam november 11 2021 currently has over 31,000 very positive reviews and this is a lightning fast fps action genre game created by fyqd studio combines a wide variety of skills and abilities to unleash dazzling combo effects you can see some of the gameplay and performance here on the steam deck and this game is about 20 bucks typically over on Steam. And it's not a really long campaign. If I remember right, it took me just a few hours to go through, but it looks fantastic and plays great. And it's definitely worth a couple of playthroughs if you're looking for a game like this to play over on your Steam Deck. It's definitely fast paced and runs really well. And I haven't had any problems playing this game portably on the smaller screen and really enjoying it. So I want to throw this one in there first. Now our second game here is Chorus. Now I originally beat this at launch over on Xbox and then I started putting some time in over on Steam when I got the Steam Deck and wanted to check it out there. This game runs fantastic. You can definitely tweak the settings to run this how you want on the deck. It looks great and runs great on here. Over 2,000 very positive reviews and was originally released on Steam by Deep Silver December 3rd, 2021. This game's typically about 40 bucks. There is a demo though, and it does go on sale from time to time. It's a very fun, full control, no on the rails type thing, uh, space shooter, lots of weapons to unlock and attacks, abilities, and that type of thing. And like I said, I beat it over on Xbox. It's a fantastic title to play through. It runs great on the Steam Deck. So if you're looking for a space shooter like this, I definitely recommend checking it out. And again, there is a demo, so you can give it a shot before you put any money down. Okay, so our third game is the Entropy Center, and this is an interesting one because these really just aren't typically my type of game, and I haven't beaten this one yet, but I've put in quite a few hours to it, and it is kind of similar to like a portal puzzle solving type game. The gun that you have is used to rewind time, and you have some other abilities to pick up and move objects and forward time or release time and that type of thing. Uh, this came out, again, very positive reviews, over 1,400 of them over on Steam from November 3rd, 2022. I've played this game on a PC mostly, um, and I started messing around with it on the Steam Deck, and it has its hiccups here and there. You can adjust the settings a bit, uh, but for the most part, it plays quite well. This game typically will go for about $25 over on Steam. Sometimes it is on sale, and there's also a demo for this one if you want to download the demo and check it out, but the Entropy Center is definitely a good bit of fun if you really like those puzzle solving games that's pretty much what you're doing here and solving the mystery of what has happened to earth basically and trying to rewind time so it is a really cool game if you like those style games it's definitely running well on the steam deck and worth a look all right so our fourth game is loop mancer and this is a roguelike game typically not something i get into all that much some decent reviews came out july 13th 2022 over on steam i played this on geforce now actually a good bit typically goes for about 25 bucks over on steam and you might catch it on sale here on steam or elsewhere but it's a pretty decent game the environment is fantastic the music's really good the controls are tight and snappy and there's a lot of like dodge that you're gonna have to do and fighting you'll unlock guns different weapons your typical roguelite where you go through and unlock things till you die you come back through more powerful unlock more things and uh, it can be a lot of fun and again runs decent on the deck it's gonna have times where the frame rate does come down or dip but I haven't had any crashes or problems and it's run well there. So if you like rogue roguelites and you haven't checked 
checked out Loot Mancer yet and you're looking for something else for your deck, this is definitely a decent title to take a look at. Unfortunately for right now, no demo over on Steam though. All right, so our fifth game is another space shooter, but this one's on the rails, more like, say, like a Star Fox or something. And this is Red Out Space Assault. This has been out since January 22nd, 2021, but it runs great on the Steam Deck at epic settings. It's super snappy, plays well, haven't had any problems with it all, and it typically goes for just 10 bucks over on Steam. Sometimes it's on sale. You can even get to the deluxe edition at the time I'm making this video for less than $12. So if you like on the rail shooters where you're not going to worry about the flying as much, you're really just dodging things, uh, shooting that type of thing while it moves you along, then this might be something you want to check out for your Steam Deck. I've definitely had a lot of fun with it. I've played it on other platforms as well, and I've recently, pretty recently, picked it up and started playing it here on the deck. It's not the world's greatest game or anything, but if you like these type of games, it can be fun. It's inexpensive. You might catch it on sale. It just happens to be one I jump into every now and then if I just need to kill some time and I don't want to kill my battery. It's really good for that because it doesn't take a lot to run it. Anyway, right out, Space Assault, a decent one for your deck. All right, so our sixth game is Stray here on Steam. Originally came out July 19th for 2022. Over a hundred thousand overwhelmingly positive reviews and for good reason. It's kind of funny because I joked about this game before it came out being the walking cat simulator and that type of thing. But I'll tell you the game really grew on me. I beat it over on PlayStation 5 and I've got about three hours into it here on Steam and it's playing pretty decent on the Steam Deck, which is great because it's allowing me to really just jump in and do little pieces at a time and chip away. Since I did beat it on the PlayStation, I kind of know what I'm doing and where I'm going. Um, but it plays really well here on the Steam Deck, and I just, I could not not mention this game. Uh, Stray certainly got a lot of attention in 2022 as a very high quality indie game, and deservingly so. It's typically 30 bucks over on Steam with no demo, but you can probably catch it on sale as well, and I highly recommend Stray if you haven't tried it yet. Now for our seventh game, I absolutely just could not skip Vampire Survivors. Everybody knows Vampire Survivors. We're at over 186,000 overly overwhelming, overwhelmingly positive reviews over on Steam. This came out October 20th of 2022. It's only $5, plus there's loads of uh, DLC now, uh, more content. I believe they're even making a show uh, for Vampire Survivors. It's pretty insane what this one developer has been able to do with this game, and it was quite a phenomenon that didn't just catch on for a little while. It still continues to be at the top of the Steam charts for top played game, especially here on the Steam Deck. So most of my time was spent over on uh, was it Game Pass or Xbox with Vampire Survivors. I've now jumped in and played a couple hours here on Steam Deck. It's just the perfect game, again, to save battery life, to jump in and play for just a little bit, kill some time. You guys know what's up with Vampire Survivors. It's a great indie title. There's still more content coming out for it from what I understand. And it's definitely, if you haven't picked it up for your Steam Deck, do yourself a favor, spend the five bucks and grab this one up. So I want to throw in an eighth bonus game real quick here. This is EX Zodiac. And the developer actually had sent me a code for this game made by one guy here. And he is like me where he grew up with these 90s games like Star Fox, F-Zero and all of that and he took that love and put it into this game. There are a lot of similarities to me, the music just sounds like F-Zero and the game de design is basically Star Fox. And if you like those two games, I think that you might actually like jumping into EX Zodiac here and giving it a shot. It actually has a good amount of positive reviews. This came out in July 21st, 2022. It's still considered an early access game with no demo. Um, but you can get it typically for $10 or on sale for $7 or $8. Um, and so it's just another fun one to jump into and play. You can really sip battery life and get a lot out of it. And if you want some 90s nostalgia, both from sound and gameplay, I kind of recommend taking a look at this game and giving it a shot. It can definitely be nice for your Steam Deck and to have in your library. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. That's our seven indie or smaller title games. Well, I guess eight with the bonus game there uh, that I play on the Steam Deck here. No particular order, not from any top charts or anything like that. Just eight indie games that I've enjoyed playing on the Steam Deck. And there's a lot more besides that as well, like I said earlier. So maybe we'll do some more videos like this and check that out. I really wanted to display and show some different game style types here, something for everybody, because I really do play such a variety of games. But anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what your favorite indie game is on the Steam Deck. And as always, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.